Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. I want to talk about this kit lens, the 2870 uh, variable aperture kit lens. It's, uh, it has an optical stabilization, but that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the uh, variable aperture where you can actually make it constant. Now, if you're willing to compromise to 5.6 f-stop, then this is the lens for you, okay? The reason I kept this lens, I actually sold it and and buy it back again because it's very affordable now. If you buy it used, you can get it around $300 compared to the Zeiss uh, Sony F4 2480. That's, I'm sorry, 2470mm. Uh, that's about almost $1,500 new. This one, if you buy new, is about $540. But if you buy it used, you probably can get it $300. So you can see the price difference. Now, of course, people argue that because the other one is like constant f4, right? Like, and this one is variable uh, aperture, 3.5 to 5.6, that's no good. However, um, I was able to set it so that it's constant if I set it to 5.6. And now we have a lens that's constant aperture at 5.6 instead of, instead of uh, variable uh, aperture. Okay, so now you're compromising about one stop, but you know, you think about it, one stop is not that much. If, if you just adjust your surrounding lights, right, and you know where to take or compose your shot, that extra f one stop is, is not that much. Okay, so if you're willing to compromise 5.6, and by the way, 5.6 is a little bit sharper than f4 in general, right? Now, I haven't done a comparison between f4 of the um, the Sony Zeiss 2470 versus the 2870 but you can check dxomark.com and I can tell you right now the perceived megapixel on this uh, uh, 2870 is actually better than the 2470 if you don't take my word for it go have a look at the, uh, the website and they do the comparison of, in terms of sharpness okay so this is actually a little bit sharper than the uh, Zeiss Sony 2470 which is like almost three times if not three and a half times more expensive than a used uh, a lens here okay so how do you set it up that's probably what you want to know okay let's do that so what you want to do let's see I can set turn this on okay what you want to do is bring your um, kit lens the 2870 all the way to 28 mils okay so rotate the lens all the way to 28 mils and then you notice that the setting right now, okay, is, um, okay, uh, well, it's not set to 5.6, but when you, normally when you bring it to 28 mils, it'll go to uh, 3.5, f3.5. And so what you want to do is, okay, so press the bottom button, which allow you to adjust the uh, f-stop. So bring it to, okay, right now, initially it was uh, 3.5, and you can see that, okay. And then you bring it down to 5.6 and press enter. 5.6 here. There we go. Okay, yeah. So 5.6, press the middle button for enter. And now what happened is when you move the ring from 28 to 70, you notice it stay at 5.6. So now I just made this lens a fixed. Uh, aperture lens okay so it's now so let me see yeah see it's now fixed at 5.6 see so here's 70 mil zoom in and then we move to 28 and it's still 5.6 so that's a trick so you are able to make this kit lens to a constant aperture um, now it's it's one stop down from f4 but still that's not bad that's actually you just save yourself almost a thousand dollars by doing that and I, like I told you already, this kit lens compared to the uh, Zeiss Sony F4, um, this one is actually a little bit more sharper. Again, check dxomark.com and you'll see what I mean. And of course, there's other things as well like vignetting, um, the purple fringing and all that. But, you know, that may be more um, common in this lens. But again, you know, if you, you know, compose your shot properly, the way you set your light, then this not, may not be a problem. All right, so that's the trick. So now you can make this in a constant aperture by setting it to uh, 5.6 and, and then 
and what happened is when you rotate or zoom in and zoom out it will stay at 5.6 and 5.6 is quite sharp all right thanks for watching educate tube dot com